My name is Dr. Chris and I am a diagnostic radiologist. As a diagnostic radiologist, I am responsible for using medical imaging to help diagnose and treat patients uh, to help other physicians with their responsibilities for patients. So basically, um, I use a computer to um, look at the images that are sent to me by the technologists and I interpret those images by quickly studying the images, figuring out what's wrong, making a report so that the referring physician um, knows what's going on with the patient and knows what to do next. My typical day would involve coming in somewhere between 7 and 9 o'clock in the morning and working typically through 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening, but it could go on later if I'm on call and have on-call duties. Um, during that typical day, I would interpret mammograms, CAT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, nuclear medicine studies, PET scans, a whole variety of imaging um, to help diagnose and treat patients. At some times during the day I may use imaging to help uh, treat patients by doing um, biopsies or removing fluid or, or infection from the body using medical imaging as a guidance to do those procedures. The stress level in radiology varies from time to time. It can be quite stressful if it's an, a busy day in the emergency room and there's a lot of patients requiring imaging and diagnosis to be made to help the emergency room physician make those uh, decisions on what to do with the patient and how to help get the patient better. So they can be very stressful if you have a, tr a significant trauma that comes in and they're relying on the radiologist to help them figure out what the injuries uh, that occurred during the trauma um, it can be very stressful when you have to tell patients that they have a uh, finding which could be indicative of breast cancer. So the stress level can vary from sort of mundane routine stuff um, to very high stress. Um, working hours can vary, like I said, from, you know, a typical radiologist would probably work 10 hours a day. Um, when you're on call, you can add probably another five hours of work to that. Uh, so it can be up to 15 hours in a work day. So to become a radiologist, it requires an undergraduate degree first, and that could be in anything you'd want to study. Most people choose a scientific um, undergraduate degree, biology, chemistry, pre-professional, pre-medical um, degree, which has a diverse uh, amount of science within it. But honestly, as long as you meet the prerequisites to get into medical school, the degree requirement um, is very vast. Once you uh, finish your undergraduate degree, then you would go to medical school, which is another four-year degree. Uh, medical school is a diverse uh, curriculum. It starts out with some basic sciences in, in biochemistry and genetics and uh, anatomy, physiology. Um, for the first two years, it's very diverse in, in the basic sciences. And then the last two years, you have a clinical um, component to your training where you get to rotate through surgery and medicine and psychiatry and pediatrics and obstetrics. You get to go through all um, clinical specialties that you'd like. Your second uh, clinical year, your fourth year of medical school, you're able to tailor it to what you think your interests are to decide what specialty you'd like to go into. So you can take electives in radiology or urology or orthopedic surgery or pathology, whichever um, specialty you think you're going to um, pursue in the future. Once you finish medical school, then you have a residency. Residency programs can vary from three years in primary care, family practice, uh, pediatrics, up to eight years, um, neurosurgery or something like that. Radiology itself requires a one-year internship where you, you um, rotate through either surgery or internal medicine. Um, following that, you have a four-year residency in radiology and you go through all the areas of radiology uh, in that program, you would study neuroradiology, pediatric radiology, gastrointestinal radiology, musculoskeletal radiology, neuroradiology, interventional radiology, nuclear medicine, um, just a very diverse group of things because radiology in itself um, utilizes all kinds of imaging in order to um, treat and diagnose uh, disease in many, many areas, basically all areas. Um, Following residency, there can be a fellowship where you would subspecialize or narrow your scope of training even more. I did a radiology fellowship in musculoskeletal radiology, but you can choose all of the various areas of radiology to pursue additional training. Neuroradiology, interventional radiology, gastrointestinal radiology, breast radiology for mammography if you're interested in that, pediatric radiology. So 
again, you continue down the road and you narrow your scope and get, and get more and more subspecialized. But in general, radiologists um, see imaging in, in any body part. So that's the, that's the best thing about radiology is it's very diverse and you're constantly seeing um, a various collection of, of disease states. So beyond um, skills in science, I think some of the other skills that a radiologist needs to, to have is an ability to communicate, an ability to synthesize information quickly and make um, quick and accurate decisions. I think it's important that a radiologist um, be fairly level-headed and not get um, too high or too low or, or um, get too stressed because it is a very stressful field, honestly, and I think if you don't have a level head and you're unable to handle that, I think it could be a very difficult specialty to pursue. So the best part of being a radiologist is that you're actively involved in the care of many, many patients and you have an opportunity to consult with um, every other specialty, essentially. So you're, even though your specialty is radiology, you interact with pediatricians and you interact with obstetrics and you interact with neurosurgeons. So every day, I'm speaking to emergency room physicians or, or neuro, neurosurgeons or neurologists, and I'm helping them treat patients in, in all kinds of uh, states and all kinds of um, conditions. So I think that's the best part of my job is that I have a constant interaction with other physicians and I'm constantly um, utilizing the skills that I got in medical school across all spectrum of uh, disease. The worst part of radiology is that you have no control over what comes to you. So people can order tests, the emergency room could be super busy, and you can't just say, well, I'm not here or I'm going to go home. So there's always a need for radiologists, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So that, that's sort of a difficult part of the job. If I'm a dermatologist, I can close my clinic, close the door, and I'm not seeing any patients and really nobody's going to call me. As a radiologist, there's really no closing of the doors and we're not seeing patients today. And you can't predict it. That's another I'd say drawback is it's very unpredictable. So you're, you really can't predict how your day is going to go. And sometimes that can be difficult on families because you can't necessarily leave at a certain time because if it's busy and there's a lot going on and stuff needs to be taken care of, there's people that are sick, you can't leave. It's not shift work per se. Um, so I think that's a big drawback and that's something that people may not recognize. Uh, even within medical community you may not recognize that radiology is, has pretty high demands and it's not something you can shut off. So in summary, I think radiology is a great um, field in medicine. It's very diverse. It allows you to interact with physicians in multiple specialties. It allows you to interact with patients. I think that's a secret part of radiology is that indeed we do interact with patients. People think that we just look at images and don't interact with patients, but on a daily basis, I talk to patients about uh, breast cancer and the diagnosis of breast cancer. I do procedures. Um, to help make the diagnosis, whether it be a biopsy or removing fluid from the abdomen or, or chest, those kind of things. Um, so I think um, it's a great field to pursue. I think you have to be ready to work long hours. I think in general radiologists work fairly long hours. I think you have to be ready to sit in front of a computer and look at images for a long time because that's the bulk of what I do on a daily basis is to um, sit here in the computer, look at, bring up images, interpret images, make reports, make phone calls, and talk to people about what I find and what I think um, is going on with the patient. Uh, 